I'm a trans girl. Healer in practice. Refugee immigrant. Bush fellow. I'm Puerto Rican. Entertainment coordinator. A black trans male. Community father. A parent, a brother, friend. Stonewall feels like like a ghost that's trying to like break through the veil to speak to us again. The, the impact that I feel from it is like seeing articles in The Economist about uh, how Minneapolis is one of the most progressive cities in America. Uh, and then a month later seeing another article about we have the biggest racial housing inequity in America. And so when I think about how it's impacting our communities, I see the retelling of our history for a corporate kind of, let's make money off of this nostalgic idea of what queer liberation or queer people are supposed to be, right? But I do believe that the Stonewall era impacted us positively because we can just be us and live and be celebrated amongst whatever community. The closer I get towards liberation, the closer I um, have joy, the more people are going to want to drown me too. So it is important for me to both practice but protect my joy. And that's what I learned from Marsha P. Johnson. To be a descendant of Stonewall uh, means that I have a legacy to follow, that I have a responsibility to my ancestors, uh, that I have a responsibility to the future generations, uh, to do my very best to ensure that the people that I serve and the communities that I'm engaged with have full access and equity. I don't know that we will really ever feel a full sense of equity within any one area. You know, there's just too much violence and too much trauma in different, uh, different communities, and how can we ever have that sense of equity? A truly liberated Twin Cities, to me, looks like us having um, access to jobs, food sustainability, having, um, having like healing spaces. Less homelessness, you would see more people like us being the best we can without any obstacle holding us back. There would be more gender non-performing, transgender people, uh, black people in those very same positions, leading the way in spaces where we were told we don't belong. Th this liberated vision in my mind um, would have us everywhere and comfortably so and feeling safe doing so, walking down the street without fear and start to get emotional. Um, what just hit me right then was uh, C.C. McDonald. Um, that, in my mind, that scenario would never have unfolded. To me, real liberation looks like removing the systemic barriers that require equity to be necessary. The best person has access to everything they need without systemic oppression and systemic racism and generational poverty being the catalyst as to who can and who can't access something. Remove that shit. If you remove that shit, I think black and brown queer folks gonna do just fine. It's been a long, long time coming and I know Change gonna come, oh yes it will.